Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm Christine. And we're the Cooking Cousins. Today, we're going to make the easiest, most delicious shortbread recipe. I use it at Thanksgiving all the time. Thanksgiving, Christmas, any event, people go crazy. They always want us to make them again. And they're really, really simple. These so are the simple. ingredients. Icing sugar. Icing sugar. Flour. Cornstarch. Vanilla. Vanilla and salt. salt. That's it. And of course, butter. Oh, As yes. usual. The butter's in here already. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with one cup of butter. So you want it softened. So you want to take it out in the morning. If you're going to make it in the afternoon or even overnight is perfect. The softer, the better. So you're going to put that into a bowl, the whole cup, and you're going to beat it with beaters till it gets light and fluffy. So it's about for one to two minutes. So once your butter's beaten all nice and fluffy, nice and fluffy. you get a strainer. Now a sieve or a strainer, I have this one, it's mostly used for, like you can use it to rinse vegetables, fruit, anything fruit. like that. So use it every you can. Now ideally you'd like one that's a little bit thinner so it catches everything so it makes um, all the ingredients light and fluffy, but this one's fine. If you don't have one, it's okay as So well. just kind of use what you have. So yeah. we're going to do a half cup of icing sugar in here. Yeah. So you should have to pop it right in. It all just it. strains through and it gets rid of all the clumps. So half a cup of icing sugar is in, then we're going to beat it. Now be careful because it goes everywhere. Try yeah. to keep it on low. So you're just going to scrape the sides of the bowl as you do it. So Chris is going to help me do that. So make sure you get all the ingredients in there. So there you go. It doesn't take too long to blend. And our oven's ready. So before you start this, you want to set it to 350. Okay, so next we're going to sift in a quarter cup of cornstarch. So just flat it off with your finger. A quarter cup goes in. You're going to sift that again. Stay away. Just dip. Once you mix that quarter cup of cornstarch in, you're going to add a cup, so you're just going to level this off. And a half of flour. Probably best to do it over the sink. Yeah, it's a little bit of a messy recipe. So it's one and a half cups of flour and half a teaspoon of salt. So you can measure it. I like to eyeball it. There we go. And again, sift this. Sift that all the way through. Kind of takes a little while, but it's worth doing it. Flour in. It's good just to get the beater, probably put it around for 20 seconds, just to help incorporate it. And then you can mix the rest by hand. And then it comes kind of more doughy, so you can mix it together. Yeah. So while you're doing that, I'm going to pour one teaspoon of vanilla in. Just like that. Perfect. I love it too. It flavors it. It's perfect. The vanilla brings out all the mm, delicious flavors. Okay. So you're just going to keep mixing it and mixing it till it forms a dough. So it's a little bit of elbow grease you need. Got to mix for a little bit. Okay, so now that all the flour is combined, it forms like a nice dough. You get a teaspoon or a tablespoon and scoop it out. And then put it on an ungreased cookie sheet and press down. Now these can be as big or as little as you want them. Now what you need to know with this recipe is the cookies do spread. So try and keep them about two inches apart. And you bake them for 18 minutes. So set a timer and make sure to keep it around them and make sure they don't get too brown. So just watch oven every oven is different. Because they're a fairly light cookie. Okay, so that should be good for now. Okay, pop them in the oven. Okay, so you're going to put the cookies in the oven, 350 degree oven, for 18 minutes. We're just cleaning right now. So with the shortbread, mm -hmm. you're going to melt chocolate on them. And so for Thanksgiving, I melted and white, then, orange, and brown chocolate. And you just drizzle it all over. It's so delicious. I'm going to put them in boxes for our friends to give them out for takeout mm -hmm. boxes. Look how cute they are. That's there. a cute idea. You can get the box at the dollar store, wrap a little ribbon. I'm so cute. Cute hostess gift. You go have some for dinner. We just made chocolate cookies, so I'm eating those. They're so, so good. We eat them all the time. <laughs> okay, so the cookies just came out of the oven. We took them off and then you put them on a cooling rack, so just like a, a metal rack. If you don't have one, you can just put it on your counter as well, but take them off the sheet. And then we just have a couple here. We're going to have them with tea. They're delicious. We had a busy shopping day, so we're going to relax with some tea, watch a cute girl movie, and eat these amazing cookies. Try them. They're really, really good. Hope you enjoy the recipe. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Check out our other YouTube page. Yeah. We forgot to tell you. Look in Christy's live. It's right here. Just click on the link. It's really fun. Check it out. <laughs>
Oh, there it is. No one cares. Sydney, no one cares about your view. Hey, apparently it's nice at night, though. You're going to make people sick. <laughs> no, I'm not. Luke's having another cookie. They're so delicious. No, thank you. Here you go. I'm full. Oh, thank you. Mm. Open. Just take oh, one bite. Too hot Just right? take one bite. It's ready. <laughs> Don't spill your tea. <laughs> Careful. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs>